Spigen has this many cases for the S21 Ultra. I'm going to go through these as fast as I possibly can. So theoretically, it should take about 11 to 12 minutes to do this video. I'm going to put in the description down below some timestamps for you guys to jump to your favorite case, but let's go ahead and get right to this. Yeah, this is what you can get for roughly about $200 from Spigen. In no particular order, Neo Hybrid, Neo Hybrid Crystal, the Rugged Armor, Slim Armor CS, Ultra Hybrid, Liquid Air P, Tough Armor, Liquid Crystal, Liquid Air, Thin Fit, and Ultra Hybrid S. Okay, I have the Air P on there right now. I have a wireless charger here and I will be testing these cases as we go through this. All right, let's get, get this off. See, that doesn't fit too tight. I wish that was a little bit different about this phone case, um, but it's okay, it's not bad. It does let a little bit of dirt in there, but it cleans off, the dust cleans off pretty easy. This is what it looks like on the inside. It has that nice little coating. There's air cushion technology, so that means that there's little tabs right here. If I can get a good angle on it, there's little holes that are dug out in each corner. So that way when the phone case impacts the ground, it'll be there'll be a separation between the ground and your phone. The pin does stay in there pretty good. They recommend, they say, do not put it in sideways like this. They want you to put it in like this, okay? So the words should be either on this side, on the back side of the case, or on the front side of the case, not facing the side of the case. Uh, buttons are super clicky. They're kind of connected by a little piece of plastic that are holding these buttons on. Um, and there's a little bit of texture right there on the power button. And this right here, the volume rocker, it's kind of smooth. There's a nice texture on the side here. Um, it does have kind of a grippy texture, not bad. And you can use a pop socket on this and you can use an ESR kickstand on this as well. The other version of the Liquid Air, and this is just the regular version of the Liquid Air if you don't really care about the S Pen. I already know that that other case charges wirelessly, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this case instead of that case. Um, it's kind of the same layout. It's just gonna be a little bit thinner. So if you're not really needing the S Pen, it'll provide the same protection with just a nice, smaller form factor. You can see the difference in the form factor here. You know, quite a bit of difference, obviously, the size of a pin. And let's go ahead and test that wireless charging. See if it charges wirelessly. Yes, it does. All right, so yeah, I really don't need to go through all the different things that this has on it. It's pretty much the same as the other Liquid Air P. It's just a nicer, smaller form factor, right? Same coverage on the camera, all that, same. So Neo Hybrid has kind of the same kind of feel here. Flimsy, not much to it. It has a herringbone pattern, which is kind of nice. I, I like it. It's it's the same. It's the same that you know the the same Neo Hybrid that we've always had. It disconnects the frame. You know, comes off um, if you want it to. But don't, you don't really need to do that. Um, let's go ahead and see what this is like on the phone. It does feel different. You would think that these cases don't feel any different from each other, and it actually does. It looks like there's a little bit more protection around the camera there. There's a little bit of a lip on it here and here. Not so much on the sides, so you can kind of scroll over the sides really nicely. Uh, I do like that. That's also why I like curved screens because it allows the manufacturer of the cases to make them thinner on the sides. So what happens is the, basically the screen pushes up past the sides of the case and allows you to kind of swipe over a little bit easier. And yeah, super nice. Um, the buttons feel a little bit nicer, maybe more tactile. Um, I believe this case is more expensive and I'll put the prices next to these cases. Um, in the description down below. All of these cases will be down there. You'll be able to pick these up on amazon.com if you are interested and it will be an affiliate link that if you, if you click on that, it'll help me out on this channel and I'll get a little bit of a commission from the purchase. It won't cost you any more money, but it'll just help me out. Let's see if this will charge wirelessly. And yep, we have that green light. So we're going with the tough armor next. I'm thinking that this one's gonna be a little bit more protective and I'm assuming we'll be able to charge through this case. This is gonna be a little bit thicker. Ooh, I like the colors on the inside and definitely, definitely thicker. The back is a little bit stronger. Um, it is kind of like a two-piece case. Yes, it will separate. Uh, it has a little kickstand on it, which is really, really cool, actually. I like that. Um, the kickstand, if it comes out, you can easily just put it back in there. I like the texture on the back. This is a soft kind of feel texture. I remember putting this thing on when I was over in Best Buy. Look how it fits around the camera. 
this nice black color. The buttons are kind of flush, and then there's like a texture right there on the power button, which is super nice. These buttons are perfect. I really, really like those. It makes that button just feel a little bit bigger, easier to access the, the volume rocker. I like the sides being square. You don't need to add any extra you know, accessory to the back to be able to have the kickstand. The kickstand's stuck in there pretty good. You can stand, stand it up like that, just like that, right? You can see how much protection you have on this case because look how far down into the case the, the speaker is. And so, yeah, lots of protection, good drop protection. And on the sides, same thing as well as the last, uh, you can swipe over. It feels really nice to swipe over because of that curved screen. I'm liking this one the most. And let's check and see if it will charge wirelessly through that case because it's a little bit thicker. Uh, yes, it will. You're good to go on that. I like this extra padding here. This thing feels safe and it's nice and secure. Okay, guys, let's get going. Um, so Neo Hybrid Crystal. This case right here, let's see what we got going. I'm guessing the crystal, that means that there's going to be a clear back. Got some tabs on here now. Before they didn't have that, you're going to have to fight with it to get the, that off. So this is more of a TPU kind of case um, on the sides. This is a soft material, the same material here. So that, that matte finish material right there is the same material that's on the back of the Tough Armor that we just tried on here. And I really like it. It's a grippy feel. It's nice. The buttons are a little bit more squishy. They're kind of like the ultra hybrid, it feels like more so. So this is definitely like a super hybrid case. I like that. It, it, it's just, it feels different. I like it. Um, so they did some cool stuff with this. Hard plastic uh, back, I believe. Let's see. Holds onto the phone really well. Um, yeah, hard plastic back with TPU sides. It's somewhat flexible, but you can tell there's quite a bit of protection around the camera there. Um, I don't see any holes, any air cushion technology uh, built into this, and I also don't see if it says air cushion technology. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I don't see the air cushion technology there. Um, but it doesn't matter, I don't think, because this thing seems like it would be super protective. Um, I like that protection around the camera, like I was saying. It's uh, screen protector friendly as well. And yeah, you can slam it, no problem, if you needed to, wanted to, put it down. You know, you don't have to baby it too much. Um, look at the color of that. Just take a second and take a look at that because of the black. So you can see the black phone, it's ever so, it's faint, but you have the black accents right here. I'm spending too much time on this case, but it's surprising me. I really do like it. Um, you can see the top and bottom are also protected, and so it will lift off the table. The Neo Hybrid Crystal, definitely a good case. And let's see if it'll wirelessly charge through this case. Yep, we're good to go. If I'm helping you at all, please take the time to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button to be notified for future videos like this one in the future. And tell me what other videos that you'd want to see from me. Um, I'm willing to do videos on reviews of phones, cases. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below. And also tell me which one of these cases is your favorite. Do you have one of these cases? Did I help you make up your mind in deciding which case to get? So the other one was a tough armor. This is gonna be the rugged armor. Um, so I, the tough armor already, I can tell it was a little bit stronger than this one. This one's more of a flexible kind of TPU case. There's no two parts to it. it has this kind of cool texture right here next to the camera, some carbon fiber, a little accent. It's not carbon fiber, it's more of a plastic. Spigen branding right there, and a nice soft textured finish on the back. It's a different texture than what we had on the Tough Armor. The texture on the sides here, it's kind of like the liquid air. It does kind of offer a little bit of grip. Um, this, would, this really reminds me of the liquid air. And oh, let's see, air cushion technology. Let's see if there's any air cushion technology. Yes, there is. Little uh, cutouts on the sides there. Uh, so. Yeah, nice, nice fitting case. It's kind of a slim fit kind of case. Not too much protection, but I like the look of it. Give you a second to look at that. Get my hand out of the way. It looks nice. It's got like an understated kind of classy feel to it, I would say. Kind of like you're going out case, maybe. It could be an everyday carry. I'd say any of these cases could be an everyday carry, except for maybe the slim armor. I'm not sure about that one yet. But yeah, I like this one. Rugged armor can charge also wirelessly through the case. It's lifted on the top and bottom on the face and the sides allow for the side scrolling, you know, nice smooth transition there. And 
face down protection, no problem. If you have it down on the back, uh, you got plenty of protection. Um, yeah, nice case. I like it. It feels nice. And let's move on to the next case. I'll put this away off camera and we'll get on to the next one. All right, next case, we're gonna go with this Slim Armor CS. This is going to be a card case. And the thing is, is I was hesitant about this one because I like to charge my phone uh, wirelessly, just toss it down. I like to charge it either way, you know, but it's nice to have the convenience of charging it wirelessly. And I believe it's not a good thing to charge your phone wirelessly if you have cards in here, right? So maybe if you keep business cards in here, it'd be no problem. There's not much room in here. Um, you know, you can get a couple of cards in here. I've used this before. Two cards, I believe it's not a three card holder, but you can put some cash in here with, with a, maybe a license or something like that. It is super convenient to not have to bring a wallet and a phone. One thing I would like is if this wasn't like a smooth plastic on the back, it would probably allow for more grip. Yeah, it seems a little bit slippery. I feel like they need to put what they have on the tough armor here on the back. Let's see what this case is like on the phone after we check to see if it has, yes, the air cushion technology, it does. It's not too flexible, but it's not going to be, you know, the most rigid, durable case, but it's durable enough. I like the way it fits. It's nice. It doesn't add too much bulk to the phone if you're worried about that. It kind of sits perfectly in the hand, really, uh, because of this curve to the back. Face down protection kind of stays up a little bit on the back here, which is okay. Yeah, I like this. And let's see if it'll charge through this right here. Nope. I believe it won't. Let me see one more time. No wirelessly charging through this, but I think more. this is more so of a going out case really anyway. That is the Slim Armor CS. Let's go ahead and put this away off camera and we'll get on to the next case. All right, uh, next case, Ultra Hybrid. All right, let's go ahead and see what this one's all about. And the past couple of cases, I didn't really check to see what the charging port was like and all the other ports. And Spigen does a good job in and providing all the right cutouts and all that. So I figured you guys will probably get sick of seeing the same thing over and over again as far as that goes. So I'm mostly gonna focus on the different attributes that each case has to offer. And all of these cases do have something different to offer, which is kind of amazing. They have their own character that they will give your phone. This one has the air cushion technology as well. It is somewhat flexible with a hard back. Um, this is kind of a TPU side. This rubber is going to be more like the thin fit, which Honestly, the thin fit, it's kind of surprising to me how much I like that one. I actually got that one first before all of these. Um, that's the case that you can feel most comfortable in getting. I feel like if you're torn between all of these, that's probably the one I would get along with the tough armor. So one tough armor, one thin fit, you'd probably be good to go. Plenty of protection on the screen, top and bottom. You have lay on table protection and you can see that it's all blacked out. You can see through there. It kind of looks like the case is actually black, but it's not. You can tell it was clear. Um, you got plenty of protection around the camera and the buttons textured right here and the volume rocker not textured and Yeah, I like this case the way it feels um, The sides aren't too soft. I don't feel I don't think they're too soft and the buttons are clicky and I'll go ahead and show you the ports this time <laughs> And yeah, it's a nice case. Let's just to see if this case will charge wirelessly through the case Yes, it will charge wirelessly through that case. All right, let's get this case put away and get on to the next case I'll put this away off camera all right, next case. We're almost through it. We have three more to go. Uh, liquid crystal. All right. So what's the liquid crystal all about? Let's see here. And go ahead and get this going. It's a cleaning wipe for your case as well, which is kind of nice. They added that. Look at that. It's like all one piece. There's like no change. So it's all TPU. Um, so this thing will, it will kind of yellow over time. It's TPU, they do offer that anti-yellowing technology, right? But it'll yellow. It's just that, that's just the way it is. Um, there's a little dot matrix on the inside. You can hear that. And there's like a curve that goes down slightly like into the opening here for the camera, which is really cool. Um, they made this texture here, which you can't really see too much. You can't see it unless you look at an angle. It made the texture so that way it doesn't stick to the back of your phone. Um, does this have air cushion technology? Uh, yes, it does, air cushion technology. Speak and branding on the side, air cushion te technology. You can see through this case, because this is a clear case, you can see the little, little bubble right there. And yeah, that's the air cushion that they give you. So there's a gap, you can see it, between the phone and the case here. So that way when it hits, it's not gonna 
break your phone. There's not very much clarity. I mean, it looks almost like a, a matte finish, right? You wouldn't think that it was shiny because of the little dot matrix that's inside of the case. But it's okay because it does look really, really nice. I like how it stands out, the black against this kind of like maybe gray looking color now that the dot matrix is in there. Is in there. Um, it's got a texture on the button here, on the side power button. Volume rocker, no texture. Cutouts are nice and open. You can see the difference there. I actually like the way this looks on the phone. Actually, I'm surprised. It looks really, really nice. Let me go ahead and give you guys a good look at that in the front. So your phone will look in there. Let's see if it'll charge through the case. Yep, it will charge through the case. Let's go ahead and take this off, off camera. We'll get on the next case. Thin Fit, one of my favorite. I have already opened this. I have actually used it. Um, I'm, yes, I have a pop socket on it, um, which is all good because it's an Iron Man pop socket. The feeling of this is more like the Tough Armor, which I love that kind of tacky feeling. And actually, the more you use this case, uh, the more it actually has a better feeling to it. Let's see the inside real quick. I'm going to show you. It does have air cushion technology and the back is kind of like a hard back. So they kind of held on to that same thin fit because back when they first came out with a thin fit for Spigen and the iPhones and all of that, um, it was more of a thin plastic shell. Well, they kind of stuck with that right here, right? Um, they also had a cutout here where you can put a metal plate in there and you'd be able to mount your phone magnetically like on a car mount or something like that. They stopped doing that obviously for this. They did retain the hard plastic back and the TPU sides. This case is nice. If you're gonna get one, if you're gonna get a case from Spigen, I would recommend getting this one, especially for this phone. And of course, pop socket can always help. And I believe it'll still charge wirelessly through the pop socket, if I'm correct. Let's see. Yep, it barely, I had to try it three times to, be, to make it, let's see if it'll charge through the pop socket again. Yep, it does. So. They say don't use a case when you're wirelessly charging or power sharing with your Samsung phone. Samsung actually says don't do that. I don't know why. It's probably not too good for the phone. So you can take these pop sockets off and just do that, which is better. It's still probably not the best thing to do, which I don't know why it didn't charge. This seems like it would be thicker than the, uh, the CS that we had over there for the card holder. But it still charges through this, but not that. I'm not sure why. So... Anyway, yeah, good case. If you're thinking about a speaking case, try the thin fit. You'll like it. All right, last case. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. Let's hope this one's a really, really good one. It's got a kickstand on it, which which is pretty awesome. I like kickstands. It just allows me to not have to put something else on the phone, like a pop socket or an ESR kickstand, which is fine too. I like ESR kickstands. So far, I like this case. I like it more than the other clear case that I had. If I was to get a clear case, if you wanted to get a clear case, instead of getting the liquid crystal, I would go with the ultra hybrid. This is a really, really nice case. There's a little opening right there so you can get your finger in there for this. And there's a magnet there actually that'll help keep that closed. It doesn't feel like a super sturdy kickstand. It actually feels a little bit, I don't know, it's not bad. It's not like, you know, creaky or anything. And it does have a little spring in there to keep that open. You see that? So it'll stay like that. It maybe will, nope, it will close on you. Uh, let's go ahead and get the phone in there. As soon as we take a look, yep, air cushion technology. And somewhat, yeah, it just bends up here. It doesn't want to bend down here. Hard plastic back, TPU sides with that dot matrix built in. The sides will yellow over time, but not the back. And the back, let's see, you're not going to get scratches on the back too easy because there's a lifted surface here around the camera and there's a lifted surface right here where the kickstand is. Yeah, nice case. Lay on table protection because you have top and bottom lifted off the surface and it'll be scrollable on the sides. Yeah, I like this case, the way it feels in the hand. That TPU kind of grips your hands. If you think that it's going to be slippery, it's not really. I mean, for my hands, it's not. And my hands are usually pretty dry. So yeah, it's good. Um, let's see how well this thing works, this kickstand. I wonder if you can put it like this as well. Nope, it will close on you. ESR, you can. And no, it does not stand like this. It will just crash. So let's see. Let's try it here. Yeah. So from what I can tell, that's the only way for this to work. Okay. Um, I like it though. Let's see if it'll charge wirelessly through this case. Yeah, you're good to go. This case actually holds on really well to the phone. 
because it's got that TPU around the sides there. It feels like it's gonna protect your phone really well. Uh, let's go ahead and get this put away off camera and then we'll get on to the end of the video. So far, the camera protector is nice. Um, it was fairly easy to put on. It fits with pretty much any case that I've used so far. It even fit with that rugged case that Samsung sells. It's There's kind of a matte finish right here and it's easy to clean. I don't see much glare. I have a couple times maybe seen like glare when I was when the sun was at the perfect location in the middle of the day. I don't know if it was the case that I had on, if it was the camera protector or not. The glass that Samsung put on here is actually going to be perfect for the pictures they want you to be able to take with this phone, right? So putting anything on extra on top of that is going to probably add something, you know, and some variation to your pictures. Um, not sure about that, but it might be worth the protection that this thing provides. Leave in the comments down below if you think it's worth protecting this camera like that. And the uh, NeoFlex, it was pretty easy to install. I, I liked it okay when I did have it installed, but it did have kind of an orange peel a little bit. It's, it, you know, it's TPU. It's gonna get you by. It's not the perfect solution. There's no perfect solution. Maybe this is perfect for somebody. I didn't, I thought it was okay. It's an optical film and it does a good job in letting the fingerprint sensor read and there's a little cutout right there where the camera is, which is nice too. All right, so if I didn't give it away already, you guys know now that the Tough Armor is the one that I would recommend out of any of these this surprised me the most. I really like the way it feels on the phone, uh, the sides, how it's flush on the side right here. And you know your phone's going to be really protected uh, with this case. And I love the kickstand. The one thing I wish they would add to this case is the S Pen holder on the side. I wouldn't mind a little bit extra case to hold on to if it meant I could have an S Pen. So I would have a Tough Armor regular version and a Tough, tough Armor S Pen. Uh, the newer versions of the case for the S22 Ultra aren't going to have to worry about that because because they have the S Pen built in. So I understand you know, them not wanting to take a chance on making another version. They probably used everybody's favorite, right? The Liquid Air must sell pretty good. So that's the one they, they used to make the S Pen case. All right, this has been Mike with Something Mobile. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button to be notified for future videos like this one in the future. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.